Okay, guys, Amphi from Custom Bill for Play Go Mode. Um, if you see it, say something. That's all I'm going to say. But um, this is a run ahead of this. The last run ahead of this. As you guys, uh, you've seen, I blew out the uh, the uh, center diff coming up, coming up the hill, and I jumped and flipped and took a couple tumbles. That was a couple tumbles, but I did put it back, which was very simple, which is taking these two screws off, these two screws off, and it's 600 a bottom. Uh, I'm gonna show you here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then just swap it out. It's no, uh, there are no um, gaskets or anything, so you can just slide it right back together and just screw it back on. So I'm on metal now, and sounds kind of bad. I don't like that right there. Um, I have a plastic one already. Just when I heard the sound of that, I said no. I came and I changed it off, and I just didn't like that. But um, also, too, guys, I forgot to mention this in the last videos. Um, as you can see, my battery cases, I cut those. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, this was the original way that the battery was supposed to go in, which everybody knows who has the truck. The original way is this way here, straight up and down. And that was it, as you can see. I had just enough room for the battery to go in. So, uh, that was the regular way. With the ESC not in the way, it just fit in. So, what I did, like I said, I just cut a wall. Same straps and all. I just cut one of the walls off here on the side. And I cut a back end off to give my wires some room to breathe. <coughs> and... It's in. Um, you can just strap it right in just like that. Now, the purpose of this video was to let you know there is a woolly bar that will go on here. And there it is. As you see, it's on there. Um, I have a run for you guys. So all the scratches on the bottom before I did any kind of work to it. As you can see, I was kind of hard on it. This is uh, really before the tires, most of the scratches and all of that stuff. Um, and I ran it maybe about a good six times. Um, just running around to see how it was when I first got it. And I did mostly all of that scratching during that time. So, yeah. But if you check up on it, you see how my setup is here on there. I just uh, ordered it. And... Drill, drilled a hole through here, guys. I drilled a hole um, through nuts just to take up the extra space and had spare pieces of other things that I do and a nut on this side. And there it is. And it's like that on both sides. Uh, if you was to try this, guys, it comes with a screw, two screws, one for this side, one for the other side. So when you screw this one on and take a nut and put it to the other side, if you want to try it this way, don't make this one too tight. You can make this one tight as you, these two too tight as, tight as you want. If you make this one tight, it won't give this any give. So you'll be stuck, make really tape to the ground. So if you want that, then go ahead because when it drops down, it drops down close to the ground. It's not rubbing. And then here it is. It's rubbing. I'm going to go to the side so you can see. So when it drops down, it drops down. As you gas. It's not rubbing. But once it, I'm figuring once it starts ballooning, they'll rub. And here's how it'll go, actually. And you see how the wheels are still on the ground. So, and there's the give. And now, actually, the wheels are off the ground. So... That should hold up. And that should hold up. Honestly, out of all the willy bars I've seen that you can buy already set up without no customizing, that's it right there. So, guys, um, 
I have another tale coming, too. I just didn't want to put anything else on there. I saw what happened to the other one. Upon further inspection, I seen this cracking a little more. This was from the first flip that I did that it cracked. That's on the video, two earlier videos, guys. Um, Yeah, so I didn't want to put anything else on here because I figured once it does that little twist, these pins will pop and this will slip right off. And these pins just fly out wherever they end up at. So these have little gashes underneath the pins, so this can come back off at any time. So I didn't want to put anything else on here. I just wanted to go with a full woolly bar. And like I said, guys, it's it's there. And also, too, guys, I have a light setup coming up here. Um, <laughs> here it is. Here, my ESC. I mean, uh, ECS here and to even out the weight I was actually looking at this too I have these carriers battery carriers for the uh, earthquake 80 I'm going to mount that right here take this wire out of the way and I'm going to mount that here directly snug up against the servo uh, mount and I'm a Velcro. I have Velcro. I'm going to put it on here and just go around and connect this to that. I'm going to redo this. And I'm just going to connect this to that and have my uh, spare uh, receiver just here. And that's going to be for my lights. I'm going to throw lights on here. And also, too, like I said, guys, uh, for that willy and all those things, I'm not going to keep the willy bar on 24-7. But I'm going to uh, make sure that, you know, it's easy. I just I, I installed it so I can make sure that it was easily put on and taken off. So, uh, the next thing you'll get is a runoff of this here because I want to test that willy bar out. Like I said, it seems... Very, very sturdy. Oh, shit. Shoot. Shoot to drop my wire. But I'm actually holding it up by the willy bar. And it's off the ground. So, it's on there. And my spring that I have, you, I use this doing its thing. So, I'm going to give you a look at this with the uh, body on. And I'm gonna actually just pull this, pull it back just a little. And as you can see with the uh, east, the state ESC in the front, this still fits over here. I didn't want too much power running through this uh, my uh, ESC up for the motor and other things. So, like I said, and plus to add a little weight because that motor is kind of heavy. So, I wanted to eliminate that weight difference. Plus my lights on and that's just the velcro guys remember it's my velcro here it is doesn't come off so easy and here's that willy bar and guys uh if you have a 110 scale spring you can easily assemble that but here it is here again I'm going to show you guys. And that's it. Woolly bar spinning. It's riding actually on the woolly bar now. The ground is uneven down here. So sorry guys. But the wheel is spinning from the other side. But yeah. It's riding on the woolly bar. So it'll bend. And there it is. So. I got a lot of confidence in this little setup right here. I got to already have the batteries uh, set up and charged. I'm going to take it, this out, give this a run, and I'll let you guys know how it comes out. You know? Like I said, it it should be a good enough willy bar. I've seen what this came with. This willy bar goes to take tumbles. So, yeah, guys. This better actually matter of fact. No, you know what? This woolly bar better stand up to anything on this truck. Much talk as I hear about this company. That woolly bar should break before anything breaks on this truck. Now, 
With that being said, custom built for play. Go more, guys. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. And uh, I get at you. Enjoy your day, guys.